Hello everyone! In this video I would like to review virtual routing and forwarding configuration example. So let's get started. Virtual routing and forwarding is a technology that creates separate virtual routers on a physical router and helps to completely iterate routing tables, router interfaces and forwarding tables between VRFs. That isolates traffic from forwarding between VRFs. Router interfaces assigned to global VRF until they get assigned to the specific user-defined VRF. Every VRF maintains a separate routing table and it is possible to allow for overlapping IP address ranges. Creating VRFs on the router ensures segmentation between routing tables, network interfaces, sub-interfaces, IP addresses and increase network security. It delays pass and traffic encryption to maintain privacy between VRFs on the network is not needed. To configure VRF on the router, the following steps are required. First step, create VRF routing table with the command VRF definition and then VRF name in the global configuration mode. Second step, initialize address family IPv4, IPv6 or both with the command address family and then you have two options, IPv4 or IPv6. Third step, associate interface or sub-interface with the VRF instance. You need to use command VRF forwarding with VRF name in the interface configuration mode. And the last step, configure IP address, IPv4, IPv6 or both on the interface or sub-interface. So let's configure virtual routing and forwarding VRF. For this example, I have topology where I have three routers and one switch and four hosts. Routers R2, R3, they have already pre-configured IP addresses and hosts as well. Switch SW1 has two VLANs, uh, 10 and 20. G01 is in VLAN 10 and G02 is in VLAN 20 as uh, and interface G03 is trunk interface. S R1 router is gonna be configured for two VRFs 10 and 20. VRF 10 is uh, G01 interface and G02 10 is gonna be in VRF, VRF 10 and G03 and G0220 is gonna be in VRF20. Then I configure then I, I'm going to configure routes, static routes for all routers, and I should be able to ping uh, from PC21, PC11, and from PC31, PC12. Um, SW1 and R1 should have configuration uh, router on the stick. So let's get started. Enable Cisco, show VLAN. As you can see, we have two VLANs and G01 in VLAN 10 and G02 in VLAN 20. Show interface trunk. G03 is trunk. So let's go to R2 just to check. Cisco, show IP interface brief. Interfaces have IP and they are in up state and show IP route there is no route, uh, static routes configured so the same on R3 show IP interface brief interfaces are up with IP addresses and show IP route no static routes so let's go to R1 Conf T VRF definition VRF10. Uh, I'm gonna use address family IPv4. Uh, exit uh, VRF VRF definition VRF20 address family um, IPv4. Then we need to go and configure um, our interface. Interface G01 is gonna be in VRF10. IP address uh, 192.168.10.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1
one, two, five, five, two, five, five, two, five, five, two, five, two. And interface G03 is gonna be in VRF20, VRF forwarding, VRF20, IP address 192.168.21. Then we need to configure sub interfaces for our router and the stick configuration interface G0210 encapsulation dot one Q10 uh, VRF forwarding VRF 10 IP address 172 now shut uh, interface G0220 uh, encapsulation dot one Q20 VRF forwarding VRF20 and uh, IP address 172.31.21 but the difference between uh, router on, on the stick and this configuration uh, VLANs 10 and 20 hosts in this VLAN they will not be able to communicate in between through router R1 show IP interface brief let's check what we have so IPs interfaces up and running ok show run interface G0220 uh, VRF show interface 0 to 10 VRF uh, show run interface G01 all good and G03 all good for now let's go and con uh, let's configure a uh, routing on R1 for this router we need to configure a route to subnet 10 1 10 0 24 for vrf 10 and for 10 1 20 0 24 for vrf 20 ip route uh, difference between configuration for just regular static roads and static roads for vrfs is uh, in common so we need to use ip route vrf and then we mention vrf for example 10 then our and then the same like in regular IP road command 10 10 uh, 0 255 255 255 0 exit interface 0 1 uh, next hop 192 168 10 2 and the second for VRF 20 is gonna be 10 1 20 G 0 3 and uh, Next hop one and two one six eight two twenty. To check, you should not use uh, to check your routes, static routes for VRFs. Uh, command show IP route is not going to work. You see, uh, because each VRF they have separate uh, routing tables, so you can use show IP route. Then VRF and which VRF you want to see. As you can see, where we have. Uh, static route to this subnet in VRF 10 and VRF 20 to subnet 10 120 let's go to our router R2 for router R2 we need to configure a static route to subnet uh, 172.31.10.10 10. TIP route uh, 172 31 10 0 255 255 exit interface G0 0 1 next hop 172 168 10 1 and let's go to router 3 conf t ip route uh, this subnet should be able to communicate with uh, PC12 and subnet 172.31.20 172.31.20 0.255.255.255.0 
G01 exit interface, next hop on 9216821. Let's try ping uh, 172 3121. It's okay. Let's try 20. Now uh, let's go to our host PC31. If config it has IP 10.1.2020, ping 10.1.20, uh, 172.31.20.20. And as you can see, we can ping this uh, host PC12. And if I go to host PC21, PC host 21 uh, if config ping uh, 172 I should be able to ping um, 17231 10 10 and I, I am able to ping this uh, host now let's do experiment. Uh, as I said, um, each VRF has separate um, routing table. So even if I add IP route, for example, on router R2 to subnet 172.31.20, I will not be able to ping this host because they are not they are these uh, VRFs and their interfaces uh, uh, routing table they are separated. They separate traffic on layer three. So let's go and check IP route route Where is our host PC21? Here. Let's try to ping 10 172.31.20.20. And I'm not able to do this, even though I have uh, show IP route. I have static road to this subnet. I'm not uh, able to do this because VRFs, uh, they have separate uh, IP road, uh, routing tables, they separate traffic, so everything is separated. So this, all, uh, this is all what I wanted to show for virtual routing and forwarding configuration. Thank you very much for your attention. See you soon. At this point, I would like to say thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I wish you success in your studying and I hope to see you soon. Ciao, ciao!